working in Bloxburg is that some jobs actually pay way more than pizza delivery depending on what level you're on. Keep watching to see what jobs are the best and what ones you should avoid. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing a collab with Tessalyn and we're going to be showing you how to get rich fast in Bloxburg. Feel free to check out Tessalyn's video, which will be on the screen right now. So with that being said, let's just get right into the video. So my first secret is that pizza delivery is the highest paying job at level 50. There's a lot of YouTube videos on this proving this, so if you want to be rich for like the long term, definitely stick to pizza delivery, you're gonna get so much more money than any other job. With pizza delivery, because the deliveries are so much further, at lower levels you make money much slower, so you'd probably make more if you were doing other jobs, but when you get to higher levels, money will come rolling in like it's nothing, so I still suggest you work at pizza delivery so you can get to higher levels and make more money. My next secret is that longer and shorter deliveries pay the exact same amount. A lot of people believe that you get more for longer deliveries, but this really isn't true, so it's definitely good to keep this in mind when you're working. If you end your shift before delivering your first pizza and restart your shift again, your customer is in the same spot, so it's pretty much just a waste of time, so just deal with your one single far delivery and you'll be on your sweet little way. My next secret is that if you get disconnected or leave the game in the middle of a shift, you actually get all your money back when you rejoin, so you don't really need to worry about getting disconnected at all. Once the money shows up on your working tab, it's basically yours. If you're in a good mood while you're working, you get more money. So make sure you're either feeling great or marvelous before starting your shift. So make a little mood station and if you pass by your plot, you can boost your mood. My next secret is that the Marvelous Mood Game Pass helps you get money faster. You might not think it does since it's not like directly related to getting money faster. However, it does keep your moods higher for a lot longer, meaning you get more money and have to boost your moods less since you get more money the higher your moods are basically. This game pass is also cheaper than a lot of the other ones, so if you don't have a lot of Robux and still want to get more money, this is a great game pass to invest in. If you work, you make money. The problem is that we're humans, and humans have those horrible trait of getting distracted. I know, it's such a horrible human trait, like why we gotta be like this? But if you just laser focused and work for an hour, you can listen to music, watch a movie, doesn't matter, just work for an hour. I promise you'll be surprised on how much you can make. You can open or close the tab of like how much money you've made. Some people like seeing how much money they make and like it motivates them. Other people think looking at the time makes it go slower. Just do whatever flows your boat. And my last secret is that you can actually run out of pizzas temporarily if there's enough people working at once. This has happened to me before when I've done working challenges. This is also just a reason why working in a smaller or private server can be really beneficial to getting rich fast. It's no secret that if you're an ex-employee, you make more money. But how much more? What's really cool is that depending on which job, some employers pay you double, while some only pay you 50% more. The jobs where you earn 50% more money with an ex-employee is BFF supermarket cashier, seller, stalker, pizza baker, mechanic, miner, and pizza delivery. The jobs where you earn double with an ex-employee is Bloxy Burgers cashier, fisherman, janitor, hairdresser, and woodcutter. So those are all of the secrets for this video. Anyway, I have a few extra tips that I wanted to include as well, so let's get into those. My first tip is that if it's possible, use block books instead of a mood station to boost your moods because it saves you time so you can get more money instead of just like wasting time, I guess. My third tip is that if you do use a mood station, try to stop there when it's like on the way to or from a delivery, just so it's convenient and doesn't take up extra time. My fourth tip is to work whenever it's possible for you to. You can just like work as part of a role play when you're bored, or just like when you have an extra few minutes. Trying to work whenever you can really does add up over time and gets you so much more money so much faster. My fifth tip is to have another way or ways to get money other than working in Bloxburg especially if it's something you can do while you're working. You could have like a tree or plant farm growing while you work. You could have a tip station set up. You could have like a cafe and have employees selling stuff to people, etc. You could also like rent out your house or your car to people while you're working and not using it. Things like this really do help you get a lot more money faster. So I would definitely recommend doing this tip. So my last tip is to just be patient. 
Obviously, you can get to a high level and get a lot of money really fast in Bloxburg, but sometimes it does take some time and consistency, especially if you're trying to get to like level 50 or something. So just remember that you might not get there overnight, but you can still get there really fast if you just work consistently and follow these tips. So anyway, that is going to be all for this video. Feel free to comment down below what job or jobs you do in Bloxburg and why. Also, feel free to check out Tessalyn's video for even more tips and secrets. With that being said, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.